Hi everyone, Dr. Arun Rajram here. So I want to talk about some of the shoulder conditions that I see a lot of in the office. So some of the most common things you may have heard about the shoulder, or the rotator cuff, the bursa, the labrum, these are all some of the structures on the inside of our shoulder and you use it without even thinking about it, right? So every time you raise your arm, it's your rotator cuff moving it. Every time you rotate, it's your labrum keeping the, the ball and socket centered. Um, and then the bursa is basically a cushion that protects your rotator cuff from getting irritated under your shoulder blade. So these are all things that we use in our day-to-day -day life and we don't even think about it. But you can have an injury or you can get overuse type of symptoms from a repetitive type of activity. And then you can get inflammation, which then leads to pain. So then when people come into the office, we do a couple different tests to look at those and feel those structures in the office. And then we'll get an MRI um, if we're worried about certain things on the inside. And then based on what, what's going on, a lot of times you need some good physical therapy to strengthen the muscles around that area to really help optimize the function of that joint. And sometimes if the inflammation it lingers, you can do an injection to help bring down the inflammation, anti-inflammatory types of treatment. So, most of the time they do get better um, with the conservative treatment. And as far as surgery, all of our procedures are from orthopedic sports medicine, from that standpoint, are arthroscopic. So arthroscope is a camera and that camera is basically the size of a pen, like a ballpoint pen. So when I do those procedures, I make a little what we call portals in the skin. They're five millimeters in length, basically enough to put a small pen camera inside someone's shoulder and then when you are in there with the camera, you have little instruments that go through similar portals. You do three little portals in the shoulder to treat most of the things that you need to treat in the shoulder. Um, and if it's a bursitis, for example, you're able to remove that scarred, inflamed bursa to get that inflammation out so you can start really kind of moving and strengthening again. Um, there's different bone spurs that we treat were in there. There's labrum tears and other rotator cuff tears that potentially need to be repaired. So based on what the individual has, we tailor treatments accordingly. And the recovery depends, of course, on what someone has going on on the inside. But one of my favorite stories to tell is a gentleman, a patient of mine who is a barber, he owns his own barber shop. He had an AC joint issue where his basically collarbone and shoulder blade were bone on bone. And that procedure is called a distal clavicle excision or Mumford procedure, we do that with the camera. And once I'm in there with the camera and I'm able to basically open up that space, the problem is gone. So literally he went home, it's an outpatient procedure, he goes home and starts, starts stretching his arm later that night, starts doing home exercises and physical therapy, and he literally was cutting hair two days later. So on Wednesday morning I treated his shoulder, Friday morning he was cutting hair in his own barbershop because that problem was gone. So those are all the technology um, technologies that we have to be able to treat these things in orthopedic sports medicine um, that we're fortunate to be able to help people in that regard.